for such I just killed a child. If such an ancient kill. god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, those the are sigils of permission. permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one Epic. place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me were, like, and is largely out, like, against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Okay, when I thought the Fatui were cool. Oh no. Oh, what is this? What is this? What? What? No, no! It's a stingray. <laughs> it's, it's fine, guys. It's a stingray. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> Was Leo at Harbor? Hmm. I thought the place right there was Leo at Harbor. Like I thought, where the that that. Paimon's exhaust. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over, <sighs> did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the oh. Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leo yet, has it? I don't think so. I mean, I thought what that was Leo. Are you doing here? Oh, it's huh? out. Hold on, it's the dead guy. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Oh, Hyman yeah. thought you were arguing with the Chi-Sing. Is the fighting over? The one that made us go Faced with the calamity of such magnitude, yeah. we have agreed to put our differences yeah. aside yeah. for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leila? There's no way. Yeah. Just, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex guy puts up the Why does he just go bite you? <laughs> Delicious Paimon. It's not just you. Oh, it's Kachin. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. I'm ordinary. Which is why so we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. So the Archon yeah, War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? No, that's I... scary. Yeah. It's kind of scary. So will the power of the Chi-Sing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? Maybe. We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. Not necessarily, we're dead. We're just, dead. we're just dead. We're just dead. We're just dead. We're just dead. All of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. Okay. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Okay. 
Our battle begins now. Uh, so. Yep. My game's gonna crash again. I'm, I'm, I'm predicting it. Tire manning the Guajon Ballista. Let's go, child. Do not let the Fatui they're, 61, their work. they're 61. They're 61. They're 61. All able Millilith, with me. Let's go help too. We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you're made of then. What strength remains within you? Jeez, one wishes to witness. Guard them. This is cool. Huh? I'm standing Take on the cover. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Shadows of fate. Steady as. Where'd he go? Why is he running? Yeah. Can't run. Yeah. I mean, where are they? I don't know. Stupid yeah. Fatui. What is that? That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Why are you Be careful with not to get hit. Holy. It one shot all the Fatui. All the Fatui are dead. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! <sighs> How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Take cover! Now you are going to brace The ancient gods attacking again! There are so many Fatui. She's gonna kill the Fatui. <laughs> Were you about to say we can't hold them, children? Huh? Steady as stone. Huh. Don't lose heart. Here, take this. What are you giving me? This is a depthal energy. That oh, light from big your body. Child strong. It's like the time in Julian Cars. Wow, it's Madame Pink's shockwave. This granny's really strong. Oh, I am big strong. Big strong. I must leave Nost as a dutiful maid would. Injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. <sighs> so this is what Ganya's like in a fight. She kills all the Fatui. That my Osile is just killing my all the people. My name means swiftness. What Take my power and run as I do. Ooh, I got some We're real speed. Going too fast. Wee. I 
can't even protect myself from Osile's powers now. There's no Fatui. Child, you are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. My god, I'm dying for so for no good reason. <gasps> Written in the stars. <laughs> I'm fast. I attack quicker because I held on you. And then we got Zhao. Why doesn't Madden thing I must leave. Rip time. There's a lot of adaptive energy in my body. Don't think this is healthy, but. Exercise caution. I fear that the god's power has reached its peak. In other words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Except of course, for the two. He just kills all his Fatui brethren? And a shield. As a dutiful maid would. See how much damage I can do with this adeptal energy. Adventure time. Mm -hmm. Off we go. First we use Everybody Benny. stand back! The muse mode of Agastus. Six is upon you! Tidal wave, use... brace yourself! This is gonna hurt! I mean, it one-shots anyone anyway, so... Leave it all to me! Get out of here! Tui's numbers are thinning! Fight on, comrades! Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the god in peace! Last lot. Last lot. Okay, 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 continue. <laughs> Kill all the Fatui. <laughs> The interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Yeah, but we're like the depth of energy. That's a lot of power. Jeez Louise! Sheesh! Oh, it's... it's working! We just need to keep this up! <laughs> Now. Hmm. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? What do you mean? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? What are we gonna do? Drop it on its head? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. What I I just just destroy it. Well, we 
win. Or I guess we're back. The Away <laughs> Harbor is fine. The Jane Chamber is not. I'm afraid. Is there any scrap going oh, back to being my character? Huh. Is it finally over? No. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any waves again. Ha <laughs> ha, nerd. Die. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. Madame Ping. Hello. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. Where she blows. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> oh, you're not funny. Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, maybe. immovable as stone, maybe, maybe, maybe. just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat, but that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearned to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Qi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Qi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there's a Discord between the gardens, you see. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Probably, yeah. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. 
But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our four... Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. Where's your face? <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the Red thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite! No idea what that is. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harp. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally Wait, grasps conqueror the new of contracts demons? of Liyue, you humans would have once so again changed the place to handle. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Okay, bye. <sighs> Since we adept I have, but how will we in <laughs> All right, Moon Carver. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and adept I was avoided. All's well that ends with Oh right! It's Epic. nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the overlord of the vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never sh- Oh, and speaking of that, don't we s- Derail. <laughs> but isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus- Her brain. Ooh, Gajongi, you would really compliment this- compliment this video. I don't really get Zhongli a compliment this video, so please. No, oh, I didn't get Zhongli. Starting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhongli's going. What? Ask for him at Wangsham Funeral Parlor. We're going to hunt. Where's the Wangsham Funeral Parlor? Okay, well, that was fun. But now we continue on our way. I <laughs> just killed a god. Feeling good. <gasps> One shroom funeral parlor. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liyue? 
Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. Uh, Zhongli Fatui Harbinger? We had better go and make Zhongli Fatui Harbinger? You call this cooperation between Harbingers. Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and child. And... <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from you. No, don't let her get- You've yet to gather the powers of all seven elements. And our last battle at the Golden House was almost more than you could handle. So it might be best to keep things peaceful this time, seeing that two of the Harbingers are here. Well, if it isn't you two. This is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit... awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, the real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. So actually, I think... Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Stupid for two. Now, if you would be so kind, then... What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. <sighs> How sanctimonious. What? So you're the Lord of Chio? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract, for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Preparing the ceremony for you, and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky, and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. I witnessed the founding of Liyue, together with the Adepti 3,700 years ago. Even boulders that can withstand until one drizzly day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, have I already finished my duties? But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, 
Already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer, so I feigned my own death, and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Leo Achising to play their roles together. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lilith back under control? Of course. And it would have been all too easy for him, too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. I was pleasantly surprised with the finale of the show that you all put on. Why? You even des- The Adepti deserve the greatest applause, considering their years of seclusion. They hardly recognized the city, yet faced with such a crisis, they exerted the greatest amount of restraint. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end... And hats off to the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract, Signora. She managed to keep everything she knew in strict confidence. Far from the eavesdropping ears of her colleague child, just as I had requested. All the while, I carried on as Zhongli, and fulfilled the traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for walking that path with me, Traveler. These things were all a part of my script. The only unforeseen plot twist was the conduct of the Liu Achising. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Huh? That doesn't... <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, adept- Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? Be that as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liu. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish. Now then, is there anything else you wish to- Right! As Zhongli always told us, a good trait- Realistically speaking. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have- My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. That was good, fun, yeah. So do no I? No time end, to lose. Do I end the recording? Cause it's uh, mm, mm, I, I kind of want to get thirty-four minutes long. Okay, but I also kind of want to get on VR, and maybe I can record a video from that. Today's the day of the rite of parting. Oh yeah, that. Thing. Although the star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it. It would be a real shame not to go there now. Right, 
of deception. You know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that- Now that you mention it, that's very- I mean, it all fits together. Yeah. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? Ah, uh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there look- Ooh, what is he saying? Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. Uh, so Rex Lapis is really- <sighs> Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have- There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. The Fatui? Hmm. Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their... Okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, he's dead. da ba dee da ba da That's how you gotta say it. Hear ye all! The Chi Sing's words. What? Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it, too, must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So, too, must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened, nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge them. in baseless speculation. Uh, um, Diamond needs a translation of... <sighs> so that's how they're spinning. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention, could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex... Hmm... Did Zhang Li tell them in secret? Exactly, right? Parting. We're gonna part of the, the dead no lapis. Ah, it's... Ka-ching, Gong... it's Ming and ka -ching. Why did I think it was Ka-ching, ka -ching? No, Are there speeches I over? Ming Guang. As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of era. contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you Ayo, stand farewell. with us as we re-establish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking? Traveler. Yikes! She was Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young. The Liyue Qixing always me. repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far, and our reach is long. Name your price. Whoa. Uh, how much do we say? Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? <laughs> I the first time I, the first time I say something, the first time I say something is help me. Put up <laughs> and missing to think I'd put my best perfume on before coming here, thinking you'd like it. But it seems as if those perfumes really were meant to be offered to Rex Lapis. Well, that's fine. Suffer no rivals in love, they say. And that's three gone in one stroke. 
Hey, <laughs> oh, anybody there? Uh, hmm. Perhaps. I don't care about you. I don't like that guy for some reason. Anyway, and what's for your Madame Pink? Madame Pink. As for the mortal. Got a bell. Got some perfume. We got some yeah. stuff. Yo, Zhang Li, where are you? Yeah. Oh my god, Zhang Li, the man from like no that, that video game called Genshin Impact. Hey, Zhang Li, look at this. Everyone in Liu is caught up in their emotions. Think, and here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,000 Right, if the two of you can spare... Hey. Like big talk, Zhang Li. Hmm. You're right. I do like them. As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have cho- When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must- Oh, no, what? But since you weren't used- Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You don't have to <laughs> say it like that. In the City of Commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli. That is true. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Yes, the nation has been closed by order of its deity. Oh, that sucks. The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue yeah, prefer to call anime. me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, I'm Thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right, Raiden? Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the shogun of the Inazuma Bakufu, people call her the Raiden Shogun. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that Just always being the case. Nice. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? What? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. Epic. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of a statue of the thousand-armed, hundred-eyed god. They want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, mm. that's hard. I mean, we don't have a vision. We just the have animal powers. archon is the god of freedom, and the geo archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I. The oldest of the seven have now passed away. Will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when seven ideals for seven gods, and of these, eternity is nearest unto heaven. 
All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? What about child? Yeah, about that. Before the Chising made their announcement. These are indeed false accusations. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <laughs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have sh- All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Well then, I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. A new star approaches. Quest completed. Ah. Hey, yo, okay, bye. <laughs>